Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Let me try that again. Good evening. How are you doing? Thank you so much for making it to this edition of the CEO Roundtable Annual Gala Dinner. Thank you so much. For the past few years during our annual gala dinner, we've been speaking quite a lot about leadership and the impact that it's going to have on our country's growth trajectory, but also on the African continent's um, vision for, for development. So we really wanted to tap into that uh, this evening and really to congratulate all those who are doing so much within these three important areas and sometimes can um, be quietly in the background and go unnoticed. So this is a contribution that we do to the country for energy transition. I am very proud and honored that it is recognized. And a big thank you to our Coca-Cola partner for the success of this uh, initiative. Thank you very much to them. I'm surprised. <laughs> and I, I never thought for once that my work is being recognized. Uh, um, thank you. First, when I first I was invited to come to see a round table by Sanjay Rouhani, the former chair. Two or three years ago, I was the only one, the CEO coming from the startup ecosystem. And today, we're almost six in the room. Um, I have huge respect to His Excellency, Dr. Yakaya Kikwete. It adds to the excitement that is here to, 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 to watch this. And of course, my wife is here. <laughs> what is real life success as opposed to career success? Personally, also a time of reflection for me. Um, I retired from PwC in, in June. And I think for all of us, we have to continue to challenge ourselves around what impact have we made uh, and what legacy uh, will we leave. So on to private-public partnership. We certainly do recognize an enhanced willingness from the government not only to meet, to discuss issues, but also to make such dialogues substantive and more frank uh, with the ultimate aim to facilitate an enhanced investment climate and improved uh, business environment. And in recognition of this, the Public Partner of the Year Award is presented to Mr. Gilead Terry, Executive Director, TIC. The year is 2007. I was a very young, nervous kid uh, who was on course to miss a chance for a higher education. The desire to study a double major degree proved quite tricky for some of the universities that he had applied to. There were too few students, so a lot of the universities decided not to run that particular course. But this young kid was a bit lucky because he was born in a country that was lucky to have a very young progressive leader. And this young progressive leader had made a decision to build a new university, the largest in its region. This leader uh, was a bit unique and different from a lot of African leaders. He was in touch with his people, he was loved, and he believed at heart that every country should invest in its best brain. So he chose to invest in education beyond a lot of other physical things that would have made him remembered or would have bared his name. As a result of the decision that this young leader made, this young kid got an opportunity to get a higher education. He graduated with a first class with a GPA of 4.6. He went on to do a few interesting things in his life, including working for the World Bank, before he was appointed by His Excellency the President 10 months ago to head the TIC. Your Excellency, this young leader was you. This young kid was me. This university was the University of Dodoma. This is for you, sir. Thank you very much. Leadership is key to unlocking Africa's transformation story. And it is important that we recognize the diverse leadership contributions that have propelled the country 
to deliver on its sustainable development aspirations. In this context, it gives me great pleasure to announce Outstanding Achievement in Public Service Award. This award is presented to His Excellency Jakaya Mrisho Kikwete in honour of his exemplary leadership, recognising the pivotal role in leading efforts for political stability within the region and for serving as a champion of regional integration for enhanced trade within the EAC. President Mwini is the person who initiated the reform process. As you know, prior to that, we were a command economy. All the commanding heights of the economy were in the hands of the state. President Kappa sustained and maintained the economic reforms with maintaining macroeconomic stability as the pillar of the reforms. Let the government govern and the private sector do business. But creating a conducive environment for the private sector to thrive. Attract investments, FDIs to Tanzania. Today under the able leadership of President Samia Sulu Hassan, the scorecard looks better. The business environment looks encouraging, permissive, friendly, welcoming, all that I can say, please make use of it. You're contributing 40% of the government's taxes. It's a substantive contribution. Continue to invest more. The private sector is there to stay. I've, I've always been your fan. I want to take a picture with you. This is my only time. Sir. Yes. Sir, I want to take a picture so that I can tell Tanzanians that I have blown. And sir, you hold my shoulder like, you know, how you can hold me. Hold me, sir. Just, uh, hey, take a picture. So this white guy was traveling to, was traveling to Africa and it was his first time. So he was excited. So he was on the phone with his friend and next to him was a black guy. So he was just telling his friend, oh my God, I don't know what to expect in Africa. But I'm just excited, Frank. Then he turned and looked at the black guy after the call and he's like, where are you from? The black guy didn't answer him. Say this guy doesn't know. Let him come and see Africa. Then to get the guy's attention, he decided to engage him in a game. He said, listen to me, dude. Let's play a game. For any question I ask you and you don't know, you give me a hundred dollars. And any question you ask me and I don't know, I will give you a thousand dollars. Eh? Unfortunately for him, it was an Igbo Nigerian he was sitting next to. <laughs> Igbo Nigerians are like the Chagas. The Igbos in Nigeria, they're the Chagas. So as the Igbo man heard $1,000, he just looked at him and said, what did you say? He said, for every question you ask me and I don't know, I'll give you 1000 And if you don't know, you give me just 100 He tapped the person next to them and said, oh God, did you hear what he said? He said 1000 no. Oh yeah, let's go. The white guy said, who invented the airplane? The Igbo man did not even think. He just took out your wallet and gave him $100. Say, is it my turn? He said, yes. Say, okay, I want you to tell me what goes up the mountain with two legs in the morning and comes back with three legs in the evening. Ah, white right, man. You know Google. When you Google and it doesn't have answer, he said, did you mean? He didn't find the answer. He went, he went aside, called his friend. Frank, Frank, do you know what goes up the mountain with two legs in the morning and comes back with three legs in the evening? Say, I don't know, Jake. I don't know, Jake. He came back. He was angry frustrated he just counted 1000 gave the Igbo guy the Igbo guy confirmed after confirming the white guy said okay now you tell me the answer the guy took out 100 and gave him say me too i don't know sunshine